Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about Junior Gold Bowling, one of my favorite subjects to discuss in all the bowling industry is how we can help the, the next generation of bowlers remain excited and amplify their interest in the sport of bowling so they stay in bowling after the junior programs, after they, they grow older, they get out of school, and they stay in to our great sport. Uh, now, Junior Gold Bowling is probably the most successful program, or one of the most successful programs, and uh, has been running for a number of years uh, in the country. Uh, there's no question the competition aspect in youth bowling is demonstrated directly through Junior Gold Bowling qualifying events and the championship tournament events. And the incentive to keep the kids in America keen to remain in the sport remains second to none in the IBC uh, for the kids uh, for, for youth programs. IBC is a composite uh, participation of USBC and the BPAA, Bowling Proprietors Association of America, working together to better uh, junior bowling. Now, such tournaments as YABA and the Pepsi uh, Junior Championships over the years have been very successful. The state and county youth tournaments, they're also uh, events that have been very successful. Uh, and they've been vehicles to uh, promulgate the sport of bowling. However, the USBC Junior Gold Championships is an annual national tournament for the top male and female bowlers in the United States. It awards a lot of scholarship money, uh, prizes, and the youth bowlers have a chance to earn a spot on Junior Team USA. So it's a big deal to the kids who are trying to bowl a national competition. Now, Junior Gold qualifying events are held throughout the country, and it's a kind of a multi-level marketing you, you, you make it through certain areas, and then you go to the regionals, and then uh, and you progress right on through until you could get to the Junior Gold Championships. Now, not everybody can automatically join any Junior Bowler. Um, to be a Junior Gold member, the athletes first must be a USBC youth member, and then establish a minimum uh, youth average of 150 for girls and 175 for boys. So if you're not a pretty good player, you can't participate in the Junior Gold program. So there's incentives to get better, to learn to bowl, not just go through your junior leagues and have a little fun. You can do that too. But for anyone interested in really testing how good they can become in the junior programs, uh, the Junior Gold bowling is uh, certainly the way to go. The Junior Gold Championships, for example, are held in a different city every summer, and the youngsters bowl qualifying rounds on challenging lane conditions, not easy standard house conditions. Uh, and they, they qualify, they make a cut, they bowl rounds of semifinals, and the top 16 boys and girls then begin to bowl in round robin match play. And to learn more about the Junior Gold program, details about the tournament format and all that, how to enter the scholarships, the rules, the Junior Team USA, and all that more, check out the Junior Gold Handbook. Uh, you can find all that information uh, quite easily uh, if you check with your league proprietors, uh, the bowling proprietors or the, uh, the junior league promoters in your local centers. They'll lead you to ways of getting uh, that junior gold handbook if you're interested in getting your youngster or kids in your junior programs involved. Now we salute the volunteers and the youth directors at local bowling centers who invest time and resources to promote junior gold leagues and who are, uh, which are designed really to help prepare these bowlers for this kind of junior gold term of competitions. The leagues are contested in a variety of formats, by the way, uh, including Junior Team USA Experience Leagues. They have Junior Gold Pro Challenge Leagues and Junior Gold Scratch Leagues, singles, doubles, and trio, by the way. All of these league formats provide more than adequate uh, preparation for participation in Junior Gold Championship events. Now, the biggest youth tournaments in the nation, the Junior USBC Junior Gold Championships and USBC Youth Open uh, in 2012 are going to return to Indianapolis, Indiana. And so if you're interested, you've got time to think about it and get your kids involved and, and, and learn about Junior Olympic, uh, Junior Gold Program, that is, uh, Junior Gold Bowling, you can learn it. Check out their handbook, get involved, do some research, and uh, it's a very rewarding uh, opportunity for the kids. Now, the... Um, the, June, the final thing that needs to be addressed is at the International Bowling Campus. That I referred to IBC earlier. 
It's now the official site or title of the Unified Youth Department, which is jointly run by USBC and by the Bowling Proprietors Association of America. And if you see future reference to IBC Youth Bowling, it simply refers to the former USBC Youth Leagues, the tournaments and their programs and all that. It's now in conjunction with the Bowling Proprietors who also have an influence on the youth programs. So it's important that all these entities work together to help promote the sport of bowling for the kids in America. It's a great sport. Let's keep the kids off the streets. Let's get them in some good competition that's healthy for them. And we could use you as a volunteer. Thank you.